I'm not sticking my mouth in that and making vroom vroom noises. <laughs> this wasn't part of the plan. Well, he has a real truck now. I'm just gonna give up trying to explain this. Let's pimp my best friend's ride. <laughs> Quick intermission before the video starts. I hope you guys are doing well at home with everything going on right now. I just got word that EJ's will be opening up very soon here. So that means Tomato is back on track, formerly known as Sunfire, my GM8 build. We're gonna be installing the engine here very soon and getting her up and running. So Subi content coming soon. I am so incredibly excited. You know how much this build means to me, but I'll let you guys get back to the video. <laughs> What's going on guys? Welcome back to the vlog and thank you for tuning in. Today is part two, the final episode of the mini build series. And very shortly here, we'll be surprising my best friend, Sean, with his brand newly built Toyota Tundra. Sean is honestly one of the most selfless people I know. He just wants good for everyone. If you guys missed the last episode, I highly recommend go see episode one of this where we changed out the wheels and tires. We did a three inch lift kit, new shocks and struts. We also went ahead and did new brakes, new rotors, new pads. We did spark plugs. I also fixed a couple little paint chips he had. A battery was once sitting here. It melted down here. So this is all smoothed out and feels good. And also we got Sean a bed liner. So I'm really excited for this. We are here at Extreme Wraps. Jose is a good friend of mine. He wrapped my S14, did an absolutely killer job. And he wraps all the cars for Fast and Furious and high-end movie productions. And what better place to get the truck wrapped than here at Extreme Wraps. So today in this episode, I will be surprising Sean with his brand new truck. <laughs> Whoa, check this out. What's up? How are you? Hey, what's up? Air5. <laughs> hey, social distancing. <laughs> As you know, I'm building my best friend Sean's truck. The last time you saw the Tundra, it was bone stock. You've seen the truck, right? Yeah, I've seen it. Do you want to come see it now? Of course. <laughs> so she's lifted, new wheels, tires, got the bed liner cover too. It's oh, retractable. Wow. That's pretty cool. Nice. Thank you. Also, um, the cat back exhaust. <laughs> oh, wow. That's cool. That's freaking sick. I don't have a color choice for this yet. My friend Sandy says we should do hot pink, but something to match the wheels, I think. I really actually like the gray or even like a desert color that comes with the, some of the Tundra stock. Like a tan. Yeah, like a tan. tan. Color. Yeah, I think the tan is gonna match really nice with that. Can we look at really some nice. swatches? Yeah. Okay. What's with me and always trying to pick brown colors? <laughs> the Subaru, I almost did this. The other Subaru in a brown. All right, so we picked out some colors here. We have uh, Volcanic Fire, we have Papyrus, we have Military Green, Battleship Gray, and then also an Ivory color. Now we're gonna go hold them into the light and we're gonna see what kind of matches best with the wheels. That one's got attitude. So this is Volcanic Fire. It kind of looks really good. And then from the side, it's color shifting. From the side, it looks another color. So straight on, and then kind of from the side. I don't mind it, but I, I don't know that this is the right choice for Sean. These are the two tans we're looking at versus, now let's see, here we have Military Green. Doesn't do it for me with those wheels. And last but not least, Battleship Gray. Well, do we want to go lighter or, or stay with the dark color? I think lighter is going to help you out. I mean, especially for these trucks that, you know, we've seen them and we know that they make them, you know, these colors. I think, you know, sticking with this is going to be, because everything else is just not going to match. I mean, right. greens, you know, grays, silvers. We are down to two colors. I'm leaning towards a gray and we're down to two grays. We're down to this gray or a lighter gray over there and i'm leaning towards the darker one i think this is the color you like this you happy yeah, with this too i like it i like it he's gonna like it too it is next time we all see her she's gonna be in a completely new color we're trying to decide what to do with the badges let's wrap it first and then it will go from there i'm really happy with the color picked and i know the guys here are just gonna kill it
Thanks, Choi. Well, I know times are rough right now, but I didn't know you started becoming an Uber driver. Why do I feel like I should put my seatbelt on right now? <laughs> <laughs> oh, sh So, Alex, when I got this truck wrapped, I had no idea it was wrapping at the same color for your Tesla. That's the same color as my Tesla. Yeah, I didn't realize that when I picked it. Why did you do that? Because I like the color. So you willingly copied my color? Okay, so I did, I completely forgot that your Tesla was the same color. Honest to God. Oh, yeah. I swear on my yeah. mom's life. Honestly. Yeah. I like the wheels, though. I want to do my Tesla wheels in that color. Well, I think Sean will like it. He hasn't seen it yet. He has no idea. He's just going to be like, it's the same color as Troy's Tesla. Why'd you do this? <laughs> So I may have accidentally picked the same color as Troy's Tesla. I swear in my life it was completely unintentional. I just really like the color, but holy sh**. This turned out good. Bam! This looks like a completely different car. <laughs> Truck. You guys turned this around fast. <laughs> Whoa, we tried, you know. We did what we could, you know. This came out really cool. You can barely even notice that there was any damage here before either. And you guys also did a little bit of primer and fixing on the front bumper. We tried, you know. Yeah. We didn't want it to be too savage, you know. <laughs> <laughs> we fixed a little bit, you know, what we could and you know, that's, that's what matters. Make it look nice. I think he's gonna be really happy with this. Just to run through what we did, you guys. So we did this beautiful grab, changed the logos to kind of the black. Jose also painted the OEM logos as well so they kind of just matched the whole black theme. Repainted the grill so there was no more chrome so that would match as well. We might still paint this. There was a lot I still wanted to do to the truck that I didn't get the chance to but I only had it for two days before I had to give it back to Sean. Anything after that then he would have caught on to the surprise. Maybe in the future we'll do a bash bar, maybe some off-road lights, maybe an aftermarket sleek step in order to get in. But I think for our first step, this has come a very long way already. Oh yeah, it's another truck. I say let's go head over to an alignment shop. Let's get this aligned and then let's go surprise Sean. So before we get out of here though, we have these WeatherTech floor mats for the truck. Let's go ahead and get them installed. Well, at least like placed on the floor. <laughs> let's put it on. Yeah. Maybe you shouldn't let me use a knife left-handed with your finger there. <laughs> I'm like, oh. Wow, these are actually heavy duty. That fits perfectly, it's like two seconds to install. Very nice. And now we have rears. That was the fastest install of anything I've ever done. <laughs> Same here. All right, well, we'll talk soon about the C8. That's right, here. <laughs> All right, you guys, Extreme Wraps. I'll put the information in the description below. Let's go ahead out and get that alignment now. Back where it all started to get the tires mounted. We're coming back for an alignment. Just like that, our alignment is done and we are off. The line was actually surprisingly pretty straight to begin with. All we really had to do was take in the toe a little bit in the front, so. All right, I think the last thing I can do before going back to the shop is make sure we give Sean a full tank of gas. What's up? What's up? I forgot my keys. Can you open the gate? Is that the same truck? Yeah, that's Sean's truck. Man, it looks nice. I like the color a lot. It's actually my favorite color. Is it really? Yeah. All right, just standing back here, you guys. This looks good. Oh, this truck looks good. So it wouldn't be a real surprise. Without the pink stripe. <laughs> I don't want to put it on because I don't want to ruin the vinyl, so I'm just going to put a little painter's tape on the back and let's get that pink stripe across the side. Sandy should hopefully be here soon. I'm not sure if he's going to be able to make it, but we did good, kid. If it looks like an afterthought, that's because it is. <laughs> I made it. Yes. You haven't seen the wrap and you have no idea what color no, we wrapped it. I have no clue. Hopefully, hot pink, hot pink. I hot did pink, take something into consideration. Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. It may have been an afterthought. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I like Bro, it came out so good. That is sweet. Yeah, right? That's the race car stripe. <laughs> I love it. Yeah, we know it's the same truck. It came out really good. I'm going to need their phone number. <laughs> I think Sean just got here. But he doesn't know, so I guess I can't really be like, hey, come look at what I did. <laughs> What's up? How you doing? I'm trying to convince Aris to trade me the Prius for this M3. 
All right, do you want to try to Prius for an M3? Done. It's going well. Actually? Yeah. I mean, that's a that's a deal I might take. <laughs> oh, there's something on the view I wanted to show you that happened over the weekend. Okay. Because we think you dropped something on it. <laughs> oh, great. I probably did. So we pulled the part outside because we were trying to let it dry. There's a little bit of oil on it. Okay. Like the oil you've been leaking all over my S13. <laughs> Yeah, so we try to hose it down out here. No, you didn't. Is that my truck? Yeah. <laughs> when did you do this? Uh, over the past couple days. Shut the f up. Yeah. Is that painted? No, it's wrapped. I'm still confused how you did this. <laughs> I had my truck like three days ago. Yeah. Well, with Sandy's help and help of the partners, we were able to get this Wait, why, why'd you do this? Why, why is that my truck? I don't know, man. You always let me and any of your friends borrow it any time. I just kind of want to do something nice for you. Dude, this looks so dope. You finally have a truck now! I don't know what to say right now. I'm speechless. I'm sorry. Can I have a hug? <laughs> yeah, you can have a hug. <laughs> the pink stripe was Sandy's idea. Yeah, totally. So, maybe I'll just walk around and tell you what this we is did. Wrap? This is a wrap. It looks like a paint job. It does, right? That's why I like oh, gloss shit. colors this a lot. This is crazy. So This doesn't look like my truck at all. So I'm not trying to do a hard plug. You guys, I just want to give credit to the partners involved and also let Sean know. The wrap was done by Extreme Wraps. You remember Jose? Yeah, yeah of course. Um, he also painted the grill. If yeah. you notice, you had a bunch of um, damage done to your front bumper that he also fixed and wrapped over. Amazing. The tires are yeah, next in tires. Obviously. Yeah. <laughs> I, I figured that out. Yeah, and then also NKA sent a full set of wheels for you. You have a fifth wheel on the way from them, and then you'll also have a spare with the fifth next Shut up, in tire. really? Yeah. And yeah, you have a bed cover now. <laughs> Finally. So now you can lock things up like you've always wanted to, and it's retractable too. That's so sick. So if you just, oh, if you notice this, the damage is gone now too. Yeah. How'd from the battery acid. Uh, a little bit of Bondo primer and wrap. Dude, this is like a brand new truck. This was Wait, also freshly you painted. Did exhaust too? And there's also hooker exhaust. What's it sound like? I'll let you turn it over in a second to is hear. Is it straight pipes? You would straight pipe it. I actually did it because this is used to tow with and I didn't want a super loud drone. <laughs> we also on top of that did all new shocks around on your car really? and a three inch lift. Well, I see the lift. <laughs> what? Dude, it needed it too, yeah, like it bad. Did. Oh, and one more thing. You also have brand new oh, WeatherTech dude. floor mats. That's proper. I don't know what to think it's too. Yeah. Oh, that's true. We also did spark plugs. You have brand new rotors and brake pads all the way around. So this is literally a brand new truck. Yeah. Am I missing anything? Uh, we did so much to it. It's hard to remember at this point. Brakes, shocks all the way around. Yeah. The lifting leveling kit, alignment, spark plugs. Yeah. Yeah. This is insane. Yeah. Yeah. It's good to go for another hundred thousand miles, dude. Get in it. Turn it over. It looks so sick. Where are the keys? Wait. Why is this here? I. I it was. It was definitely planned. I thought about it weeks prior. Um, Sandy's idea. It was not an afterthought. Ignore the... <laughs> I'm yeah. guessing Sandy helped you with this. He helped me a lot, yes. Yeah. We did all the work in one day. All her idea. It's like taller now. <laughs> You're not used to that, huh? <laughs> and it doesn't have a step anymore. I like that. Oh yeah, we also, it was, it was, you had one on one, one on yeah, this side, yeah. or the other side, you were missing one. <laughs> oh, that sounds so much more throaty. Yeah. Is it warm? Warm enough. Yeah. Sandy, am I doing this right? <laughs> Is that it? Thank you. You're welcome. I don't know what to say. Do you want to go for a sick. drive and feel the brakes? Yeah. It, dude, the brakes were so bad. <laughs> yeah. When Alex borrowed the car, he's like, uh, is your car supposed to shake violently when you hit the brakes? I'm like, yeah, it is. <laughs> well, let's go for a drive. Let's hop in. Okay. First thing I want to do is park it next to Sandy's truck now. What's up, bro? You're, you're missing a very large cam and some engine modifications before then. But... Oh, yeah. We'll get there. Dude, I literally feel like running everything over right now. Put your seatbelt on before you do. I don't need that. This thing's a tank now. Look, dude, I'm like the size of Sandy's truck, see? <laughs> you guys can be friends. What's up, bro? You wanna hit the desert, bro? Whoa. You got grippy tires now, it's not gonna spin. Well, I have traction control on too. Until now. Okay. 
Get on a brand car. new set of tires. Well, what else do you do with a new set of tires? You gotta break them in. Just don't break your drive shaft. Okay, look at you. Dude, this sounds so much better. Since when can you handle a car, a truck? Since I got an actual truck. <laughs> now break. Whoa. I'm so used to like, it rides smoother too. Like way smoother. Yeah. Thank you again. I don't yeah. know what to say. Should I cry? <laughs> I felt like crying for a second there and I don't cry on anything, but I felt like crying. <laughs> and bump. It's just oh, kind of good. Yeah. So smooth. So much better. I feel like it It feels faster too. Yeah, maybe I just need some new plugs or exhaust. Did yeah. you delete the cats? No, the cats are still there. So this is legal? Yeah. Dude. Literally, when I got this truck, I was like, Amelia, we're not modding this. Like, that was like off limits, got a new daily, don't mod the daily. But I'm really stoked you modded the daily. Y'all know me about a daily. <laughs> oh, yeah, calm down. Over. I don't know what to say. Thank you. Yeah. I'm embarrassed. If there is one thing, though. Oh, see, there was a. There, what? <laughs> Can I borrow the truck tomorrow? Because I'm going to go pick up the Super and put really? the engine in. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, of course. Oh, well, another thing. I also give you a full tank of gas. What was it at before? It was empty. Was it really? Yeah. I don't remember. I don't pay attention. Thank you for that. You're welcome. Dude, I got a new truck. Did you hear it? Brodozer. Yep. There's also extra wrap material in case you want to wrap anything else. I'm not gonna be like you and your Subaru and like wrap all the dash. And okay, all that. that was paint, first of all. <laughs> and I thought that actually came out pretty nice. There is someone in mind that I will tell you off camera in case they were watching who I want to surprise next. Don't think too hard. We'll talk off camera. All right, two things. Lessons yeah. learned from last time. Give me a real hug. Oh, you thank you. Give me a hug. Thank you. <laughs> this is so dope. And like, look at that fitment, bro. Yeah, dude, you're poking a little bit. I'm gonna literally run everything I see in the road over. <laughs> Did you guys like plan that? Like, you could fit like maybe a credit card in between that tire and that. Yeah, Sandy knows a lot about truck tires. There was a, a question about sizes of tires yeah. and I said, no, this size. <laughs> <laughs> this size, this like, offset. Look at that, I can't fit my finger through it. Yeah, it's a uh, it's, it's pretty tight clearance there, but it clears. Thank you so much for watching. You mean the world to me. I appreciate it. If you like this video, give it a share, like, comment, and subscribe because I can literally see who watches my videos and subscribes and who doesn't. And I can look by username. So yeah. I see you guys. Make sure to subscribe. Support what we're doing. Today I saw your truck. Did you guys see my truck? <laughs> Everybody, have you guys seen my truck? If you haven't seen my truck, you should see my truck. All right, you crew. I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. We out here with love. Bye. Bye. <laughs>